Hello YouTube, it is Damien, it is the Rise of a Nation, it is episode 152. Today we will have the Leipzig doubleheader, but we are two days after we have played um, PSV. Anyhow, we have gone into a border crest because the club has gone and tried to expand the stadium again. 2.5 million in a year's time, and we're going to have it up to 16,000 seats. Started originally with 11, we've got it up to 14, I think, at the minute. So another 2,000 seats, which is good. But I was like, you know what? We've got 140 million in the club. I'm not planning on spending. And if anything, we're probably going to sell Neil on not this season, but maybe next season for about 30, 40, 50, 60 million can we build a new stadium? And they said, nah. And then I was like, come on. Our rivals are going to leave us behind. Like, nah. The fans are behind me. Nah. And then I said, look, after all I've done for this club, it's the least you can do. And they've actually gone and turned around and granted me the request for a new stadium, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. A new stadium for SFB, which is huge. Would make it very upsetting if we won the Champions League this season. But we've decided to build a new ground. Which is huge. So we should be currently, if we look at the club vision, um, expanding ground completion, that's fine. They're expanding it again. But we should be uh, talking about getting a new stadium as well. And I don't know if there is anything about that there. There's the, um, there's the uh, expansion for the 16,000 stadium. I just want to know if there's any plans in place straight off the bat. So we're just going to stay live here for a second or two. Um, and see if there's any new um, new things to see. Um, doesn't really look like at the minute. If we go to Club Vision, I would imagine it means that there's some planning that needs to take place. Sometimes you see that um, straight off the bat, it says to be uh, to be advised, like to be to be C or to be A, TBC or TBA um, with the plan screen. Um, doesn't look like that's come up just as yet, but look, new stadium incoming. We've got Leipzig coming up, double header. Uh, this could be a fantastic little episode. Win both of those games, we're really on here. It would be very, look, I'm not going to say that I wouldn't welcome the Champions League this season, but I would love to see what the new stadium would look like. It might take a couple of years to build, though. Uh, we'll leave it this little click over and see if there's going to be anything about the new stadium. If, you, if there's anything that comes out in the new stadium in the next couple of weeks, you'll definitely see it in this episode. If not, you will see it in a future episode. New stadium, I, I love building teams up on Football Manager, and this is one of the best moments, is the new stadium as well. I'm hoping it's called the Zahora Stadium, you never know. Oh, Club Bruges just beat uh, Milan, that's a big result as well. But yeah, look, I have not seen anything about it yet, so if anything comes about, I'll show you there as well. But yeah, at the minute, very happy with how things are going, and uh, look, I'll tell you what, boys, if we win both these games against Leipzig, we're in a very good spot. Welcome back, YouTube. Episode 152, part two. We have our first of the doubleheaders here against Leipzig at home in Denmark at the SFB Stadium. Frank Lampard is the manager, which is interesting. Um, more importantly, we just had the internet explode. We've now back. We had to restart the computer and restart the net. We're all now back live, which is good. Um, only problem with that is I have a very big theory that if you close football manager when you're on a hot streak and you have a big game first up next time you come back, um, you always seem to draw slash lose that game or put in a performance that's not really befitting on the form before. Uh, it's like, I have a theory that the form before the game that you've loaded into does not count. It's a fresh day for football manager. It doesn't account for the form. It could be whatever. It kind of explains how it went in the Champions League uh, last season when we scraped out, or was it the two years ago? Um, that out of nowhere, we loaded up into a Champions League game. We lost that one, lost the one in the league, and all of a sudden, you know, um, what year was that? When we finished second, we had the win against City away at City. It was last year. Yeah, and like, just, you know, we loaded back into FM, and it was our first game was Inter, and have a look at that. Just one nil loss, one nil win, nil, 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 and all of a sudden, we nearly got FM'd out of the whole entire Champions League. In the end, uh, we didn't, because we beat, uh, we beat um, City and um, Gron, and we got through. But um, what I'm trying to say is that the fact that I've had to restart the computer means I closed foot manager whilst on a hot streak run of form of games, yet to lose in the Champions League, yet to concede in the Champions League. I'm just going to put it out there. I expect to be FM'd right now because it's the first game back of the game being freshly loaded. That might sound a little bit weird or out there or delusional to you. I've just played so many hours of football manager this year and of many more years that it always seems that if your first game back is a big game, you always cop it. That's why I always try and start my stream with a, with a game that, you know, is in the league against a team I should win because it starts the ball rolling. Um, so I'm very annoyed that's happened. In terms of everything else, we just beat Vigil 5-0 with a rotated scene. Um, Silkenberg will beat 2-0. We're looking really good. Uh, as you can see in Group G, um, we are top of the tree. Um, 
as you can see here. I'm going to get my face out of the way. We were the only team that's won both games, obviously beating CSK away and PSV last episode at home. Absolute pumping them. Um, and Moscow did screw the pooch. We've lost the internet again, haven't we? Oh, my days. What is going on with the net? What is going on with the fucking computer, man? Seriously. What is going on? Don't get it. Don't, I don't understand. I never have internet trouble. Two days ago, I had internet trouble. having internet trouble now. Anyhow, Leipzig coming up. I'm already live so in this episode. So, yeah, we, we're going to hopefully beat Leipzig and see what goes on. Um, they reckon Fabio Silva in there. Just going to get this game out of the way now. Like, I'm, I'm getting annoyed. So, yeah. It's, see, my Discord is still saying that I'm live, that I'm here. Internet issues, huh? Yep, it went again because that's not loading. Great, not a problem. All right, any end. Bad is there. Bloom, Renshin, Carlos, Ive, Neri, Ronald, Nildo, Jefferson, Smet, and Nielsen. And away we go. It is a big team. Vatu come back from injuries, made the bench, which is good. And I'm just keeping an eye on everything. But yeah, my internet is gone again. That is really, really, really silly. Just, oh, man. Big Sunday stream. And here we are. And we're meant to be thinking. Are we back now? We're now back again. Oh, I don't know what's going on with the net, but we're back. All right, good. We have got a very good Leipzig side. Olsen Lundberg has been there since he moved from um, Esberg. We've played him so many times down the season, um, Leipzig. So it's all accumulating to a big FMing, isn't it? Um, Olsen Lundberg is unreal. 32 years of age, still absolutely crazy. Would take him in a heartbeat. Um, they've got one we know he's been there for years. Bullock has been there for a while. So all these guys we've actually played against, Yang, Yan, Angus, Smith is really good. Charles is not bad. Tommy Fields is a pretty good 24-year-old. Like this, this team deserves to be in the Champions League, and this team is very good. So very good player there. Oh, wow, Kayat, the Belgian, 117 caps. He is insane. Uh, Williamson, Bramo, very good defender as well. Velez on the right-hand side. Probably the one we have to target. We need um, Smith to go well. And Kanenko is a very good keeper. We've played him in some big games throughout the season. We've done the job. And hopefully we'll be okay. We know all about him. You know, they've got people on the bench. You know, Jacob's pretty good at 21 years of age. Gonzalo's okay. Uh, Rossi Lea is not bad, but okay. Um, Zanonin. Zanonin. Oh, my God. Dang. I'm Italian. Michele um, is doing all right. Lucas looks pretty okay as well. Look, be interesting to see what happens. Score prediction in the chat if we are live and running. We, it seems like we're back now. I, I don't know what's going on. Um, and hopefully we'll be okay. My phone's now telling me that we're back live, which is good. Um, I'm going to predict, because it's the first game back, I'm going to predict it's a 1-1 draw. Um, to be fair right now, with how good their side is, I, I will take two 1-1 draws, because that would obviously mean that we finish top if we win both of our games because we're ahead of them. Anyway, five minutes played. Um, nil nil here. A clean sheet's massive for us. We keep a clean sheet today, which is definitely possible the team we have. It would be huge. Yet that be a chance, 15, 16 minutes in. It's a throw in deep in our half. Need to reverse the camera here. Smith on the ball. Bad to Ivy. He can whip one, maybe. His balling's not bad. Carlos heads. Koneko with the mistake, and it's in. It's not the first time Koneko's made a mistake. I reckon it was about three years ago, three or four years ago, in a big game in the group, Koneko made a mistake very similar where the ball's hit straight him and he let it go through. But we lead early here in Denmark. It's Denmark, baby. We should always, always, always be... Hope, you know, be hopeful in Denmark, even with FM and the internet and all sorts of things going on. Our first shot has been on target and has gone in. Nildo now, good on the free kicks. Ball back, Steve. Ren Sheng really should have scored. My internet's gone again and now it's come back again. I don't know what is going on with the internet. Sorry, boys, but we're in the game and that's all that matters at the minute. 30 minutes played, 1-0 to the lead. And away we go again. Anyway, Ronald now with a ball. Back in the Carlos. Ibe. Ronald, running, going, good stuff. Nildo, good spot. Carlos wanted it. Nielsen now. Ibe, needs a runner. He's going to go himself, isn't he? In the end, great save for Koneko. At any stage, we played Carlos in then, or then Nildo in the second phase. We would have just had a simple one-on-one. Then it's our fullback coming there. And that's why I like Ravel a lot. I'm not saying he's better than I, but from what Ravel's done in the short space, oh my, great save for Koneko. Didn't expect that to be a highlight. And Ronald's absolutely fun one that as well save. Um, that... Uh, you know, Ravel would have probably laid a ball into someone or when he shoots, he hits him well. I'm shooting. He scored a big goal against me for City and he scored a few, but yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, playing okay. 
doing what needs to be done at the minute. One nil to the good, 33 minutes played. Been probably the better of the two teams so far as well. They've been good on the ball, though. And with their firepower up front, they're very, very dangerous. And that's a header at goal. A bad save cleared. I don't know how you can say that. Well, we've got a comment from Dim, so that kind of tells me that we're back at least. All right, here we are. Um, we need to kind of replay that because... I think a bad's made a worldie of a save here. And it's somehow been blocked outside the six-yard box. So K it with the header. A bad's it's actually hit Thistle. A bad's made a save. It's then been off the goal line. I reckon it's hit a bad. I, I I need to watch that again, like really slow all in one go. I don't know how this has not gone in. Ball's been flicked. A bad's gone to dive across to make the save as Fissel goes at it. It's kind of hit Ren Sheng and a bad. Bloom's gone to clear it. It's hit Fissel, a bad Bloom, into the pack of everybody and fallen into the path of Ren Sheng who thumps it away. Right. That's not how you defend, but it's nil-nil. It's one-nil and we'll take it. Nervy. This is a thing, though. We can't afford to let Leipzig back into this because they're good enough to score, you know, a few goals. Anyway, ball cleared away by Carlos. Would love this highlight to be over right now. Don't think it's going to be. It's Juan going down that left-hand side. Good tackle from Carlos. The wonder kid. He's so good. And in the end, 40 minutes played. Very well done. Anyway, approaching half-time. Very even half. Probably had the better of the chances and deserved the 1-0 lead. But they probably did deserve the score from that highlight we just saw. In the end, though, reverse the camera and away we go. 50 minutes played. Monday to the good. A clean sheet, we win the game, obviously, in the dirt. But we pride ourselves in our clean sheets in the 4 3 3, and hopefully, we'll be all right. At the minute, Carlos has picked up a knock, it's a pulled lean ligament. Um, yeah, get Lars out there, that's fine. I'm also going to make a secondary change in a second as well. Saying that the system's working, I'm tempted to go to a box to box midfielder here. Going to do it. Box to box midfielder really, really, really trying to like really help you out defensively here, Ronald. Deserve to win the game at the moment. We've been the better side second half. Time ticks away here. Highlight, Koneko. Still playing the same system as a box to box. We're not going to have as many men committing forward, but it should help us um, defensively. You know, Ronald should be able to track back a bit more than the advanced playmaker on attack. Poor boy out, Neri sweeps. Nildo now going, looking for Lars. And full doing, falls back to Nildo. Beats one, Nildo scores. It's a slice of luck. It falls the Nildo, and he's well-classed, and he ain't going to miss that. It's 2-0. We're in a very, very good spot. Neri's having a very good game, but it's on a booking. Luda Vertu come back from injury. can get a minute out there as well. And if we concede from kickoff, my fault. But uh, in the end, good little finish from Nildo. He's well-classed. Gets a slice of luck, which is always nice to see. Poor spot to give away a free kick in last. Come on, man. No highlight, no highlight, no highlight, no highlight, no highlight. Oh, for fuck's sake. Bullet short. Zenonin hits a bad, great save. Strong right hand from a bad sort through bodies late. And a world class save from a world class goalkeeper. Well, it was a save he should make, but as a world class keeper, definitely should and does the job. Anyway, ball goes in, Renchen clears. Down, down the pitch it goes. And Zenonin with it, with the ball down this left hand side. Well, Michelle doesn't get the ball in. Klitsch, ball in there. Carlos heads away. Hyla not over. They're starting to put a lot of pressure on here at 2 0. Down is Leipzig, as you expect, but there goes the highlight. Right, I'm going to leave a change up my sleeve as a time-wasting sub here. Time ticking away. It's really well ticked away. 88 minutes played. I'm going to get Jacob in for Nildo. Give Jacob a taste of Champions League football. And there we are. Time ticks away. And hopefully, clean sheet too. Well, there we are. Maybe it's all just a myth that loading back into FN's a problem. In the end, we win. A clean sheet, though. Yet to concede in the Champions League. The back four's had a really good game out. Nildo, Starman, as you would expect. And Carlos scored a very nice goal as well. And in the end, we've done very well there. And have got a 2-0 win. And I'm very happy with that. And hopefully, we will continue to go. My phone yet again telling me we've gone back live. I don't know what's going on, boys. I do not know what is going on at all. Anyway, and away we go. Continuing on. Carlos is out for two to three weeks. Not good, but we're in a very good spot. And that is all that matters. Nildo, unreal. Praise him, boys. Praise him. And there we are. And that leaves us in a very good spot. Don't know what happened in the other game. That's the wrong table, Damien. Um, CSK Moscow drew to PSV. Big big result there for both teams. Um, who was that? Where was that played? 
I was playing in PSV. Wow, PSV, it's first seed. It's been one of the worst first seeds you've seen. But that puts us on nine points, boys. Don't need a calculator to work that out. There we go. Clicked the wrong thing. Trying to assume my face. That puts us in a very good position. It means that we win our next game. We're going to probably top the group. Um, well, we will top the group. I think winning our next game puts us through. Um, a draw in the next game, I think, puts us through, depending on what CSK Moscow do. CSK Moscow need to win every game from now on to knock us off, I think. Um, but we're in a very good spot, and that's exactly where we need to be. I'll see you guys in a second. Don't go anywhere. We have Leipzig in Germany. A win there. We're through the group. A draw there isn't the worst result because it puts us in a very good position to top the group. A loss there makes things a little bit interesting, but we're in prime seat. Three wins from three in exactly where we need to be. Let's go. Welcome back, YouTube. It is time for the second game, the fourth game of the group, match day four. And we are obviously top of the tree with nine points with Leipzig in second on four. You guys already know that. Um, in the league, uh, we've been on the phone with the internet provider. We are back live. We should be okay. We, you guys know I was having internet trouble in the last game. Um, we won 4-0 against AAB, 3-0 against Nords. We're just looking really good at the minute. Um, and I love to say that as things are going, we are playing some good football. Important to note, Leipzig, by the way, have got um, Kayet suspended, one of their star men. Klitsch has just done a sports hernia, which is one of the guys on the bench. And Mickey Elson, the 18-year-old, a little bit of the wonder kid through the middle of the park, is also out as well. They have lost some people, and Lucas Gattu, the fullback, is also out. So Leipzig have lost a few people. Um, YouTube Shorts, explain, uh, Rods. I'll get you to explain in the chat. Um, as you can see, their key man is gone as well. But they have since us one in the DFL pocket. Only one new against Munster. Um, and they beat Wolfsburg 4-1. They did obviously lose to us, though, as well. They currently sit third in the Bundesliga, so they're in four. Um, however, I do think that, considering the outs they have, and we're pretty full strength, everyone's kind of come back in. We've all right. We do have the one out. Carlos obviously got injured in the last game. I think he's got a sore. He is good enough to make the bench. However, I am going to put Nildo out wide, and Sommarie was going to come in. I was tempted to actually play Lars out wide, but the former Sommarie the last few games in the Mazzala role on attack mainly. He did start in the Vance Playmaker here alongside Nildo and then moved to Mazzala and scored in the Mazzala role. Um, I feel like with that sort of form, um, he's a very good player, Sommarie, and a big game player. I'm just going to get him in there and just go, you know what, mate? You are a very good Mazala, plus being six foot one for when you get in the box. You get in there and off you go. Anyway, we are going to go a batting goal. She's been in scintillating form. 7.7 .7 is what he's averaging his last five. Kind of shows you. Bloom, Renshaw, and Carlos and Ive. That back four does not change. It is a very good back four. Neri has been outstanding. He's up the free star. He is loving life at the minute. Um, as you can see, he's just, he's just doing everything he needs to do. Um... I do love Vatut, and I really do think if Vatut didn't get injured, he would be Neri, that would be on the outer. But Neri scored two in his last two. He's a set-piece um, specialist, even though he's only got eight headering. 17 jumping reach, he wins a lot of headers. Ronald and Somariva alongside with Wim Smith. Nildo out wide, who I will change to a winger on attack. And Nielsen through the middle, who has been going really well, as you can see there. But unfortunately, he's getting some interest from a few clubs as well. Now, we're going to go to there. Um, and away we go um, I'll talk about that in a second Ros, but that sounds like a really good idea I reckon that is going to be pretty good as well Rods because I will do that with everything um, I'm going to go in there make a difference there we are YouTube shorts Rods trying to explain to me YouTube shorts YouTube uh, I would do YouTube shorts like demo vlog YouTube shorts like everything like football manager stuff and golf stuff and you know, everything YouTube shorts wise. Anyway, um, they've lined up pretty similar. Kanenko's in goals still. Velez is out wide with Brumo and Charles is still in there too. Um, Dumas has come in on the left hand side. Uh, I feel like he may actually play in the middle uh, as well. Um, Tom Phil in the middle. Um, Manuel Fisher, not bad. Jan's obviously very good. Alan Bullich, pretty good. Harwin we know about, and Michelle's playing up top. So, yeah, the team is as good as it's going to be. Thomas olsen Lorberg on the bench. Wow, that's a big call from them. I think we're in a not bad spot. They may be rotating after the Wolfsburg win, kind of saying, ah, we probably should just finish second here most times and not anyway. But uh, I think, like, that's not the strongest side I've seen from Salzburg. Anyway, it's us in the black, it's Salzburg in the white. Goal, goal, goal predictions. Goal, goal predictions. Score predictions in the chat, boys. Eventually get it out my mouth. Dominating the ball, and look, a new-new result here is not bad. I, I will take a new-new result. 
Uh, 24 minutes played. I'm actually going to get Nildo, by the way, to run at people as a winger on attack. Just just, just go do what you need to do, mate. Um, you, you unleash the beast that is Nildo when he plays wide. You don't leave him as a winger on support. You let him run at people from wherever he wants to run at them from. Anyway, 35 minutes played. We're controlling this game very, very, very well at the minute. And Ronald with a free kick. Drops one in there. Carlos heads just wide. I'm telling you right now, if that was Neri, that was a goal. Um, but at the minute, looking very good and continuing on. We've been the only side really out here. They finally had a shot have um, Leipzig. But at the minute, six shots, two on target, dominating the ball in a game that we know that if we get a point in, we're more than likely finishing top anyway. A game that we know if we do win, we're pretty much nailed on top. And hopefully we will be okay. Anyway, 60 minutes played, time ticking away. Some are even not having his best of game, but at the minute, don't want to really change anything. I'm very happy how this game's kind of playing out. Uh, I know that sounds a little bit whatever, but at the minute, I am happy with a new and new result. Nielsen on the ball, takes a touch. Still going inside now, still running Nielsen. Cuts it, Somariva, oh my God, how has that been blocked in the six yard box there? Somehow the defender has just morphed his leg backwards and it's hit him and not deflected in. Wowzers. I don't know how they've got away with that. Still nil-nil. Dominating the game, to be fair. Playing very well. Just no goal. In the end, though, another clean sheet would be huge. 71 minutes played. Corner again. It's because we don't know why we're going like that. Anyway, Neri hit it. Didn't want to. Nildo now. Neri's still there if he needs to. Nildo beats a couple. Somariva block. Falls back to Nildo. Ronald blocked. How many block shots? More blocks than Lego land, lads. Anyway, Carlos, 73 minutes played. Like I said, this game going so well, I don't want to make really a change. Ronald's won the ball back. Ronald's still going. Goes for goal. That's pretty well wide. I will make the change here. Um, I'll move Nildo in for Somariva, and I will get Carlos out there. Try and win the game. I will also get the baller in for Nielsen, who's not had his best of game as well. And you know what? I'm going to get Lars in for Smith. We'll just change the whole front three. Why not? We'll do that. We'll make three changes up the top, three fresh legs. And Nildo will go into the Mazzala role. But I'm really happy how it's going. And Ronald is pretty good on a free kick. And Ronald steps up around the wall. What a free kick. He's very good at that. He is a free kick mastermind. We're one new up here against Leipzig. And if it stays as it is, we're guaranteed top spot. I think we are anyway, mathematically. Um, we'd have to double-check that, but yeah. Good free kick, great finish. You're never saving that goalkeeper. One nil to the good. We deserve to be in the lead as well, um, considering how much dominance we've had. And we are 10 minutes away from another clean sheet in the Champions League, which would be huge as well. Time ticking away here. One nil to the good. I'm very happy, and it's a highlight here. Carlos, oh, can he turn? He doesn't. Carlos finds Lars. He does not mind the left-hand side. Ball looking for the ball, I won't find him. Was on if it was a better ball from Lars, but that's okay. Velez now, Fisher, out to Ramo, over the top. I came for it, didn't win. Ronald wins that back. That's why he's so important, because he wins the ball back a lot. Lars making a good run. He's got numbers free. Nildo from the middle of the park, dinks the keeper. Good ball from Lars, and Nildo from the Mazzala roll. He loves running beyond the nine. Baller made all the space by dropping in to get the ball. He loves to come deep for the ball. It's a great work. Like, look where the baller is. Comes into the 10, and look at Nildo's run. Nildo goes, yep, he's left the space. Centre-back's been engaged. Lars is there. Ronald's there. Do what you want to do. And in the end, all you had to do was go, well, there's this big amount of space. Slip him in. Slipped into Nildo. One touch. Keeper went down. Kanenko. And we score for two. And that is all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. We are steamrolling this group. Could we make it free? Very late doors. Oh, I've froze. Poor throw in. Maybe they can hit us on the break. Anyway, it falls to Carlos. He's got Neri through the middle. And Neri, the Argentinian international, Ibe, Lars, good touch. The baller now, looking for a runner. Ibe again, still with the ball, looks for the switch, a play. In the end, if we just play, if Ibe made the run forward, he could have been played in by the baller. Anyway, Kaneko goes long. Can we win that? We do. Sandra Bloom, Carlos now, running with it. Back from injury, good to get him some minutes. Nildo inside of him, wanting it, ignored. Carlos, still going. Cuts it back to Sandra Bloom now. Ronald deserves another. He's been amazing today. It's been the Ronald show. He's won the ball back a lot. He's made his own chance. He scored a free kick. And now he's absolutely banged a header in top bins as well. And it's 3-0. We've put Leipzig to the sword. I tell you what, this squad is becoming a little bit special. Send the bloom. Good ball in. And Ronald, advanced playmaker on attack, just suits him so well. We knew box-to-box suit him well, but we did not realise 
advanced playmark on attack is so good for him too. 3-0, 30 seconds left. If they score from kickoff, I'd be annoyed because I want the clean sheet. But Brumo, ball out to Albert. They are coming from kickoff, don't you dare. Ball cleared away by Ren Sheng. 15 seconds still to go. I would be actually physically annoyed if we concede right now. Michelle on the ball. Ball cleared by Carlos. Lars. Chips out to Carlos. Nildo running at it. Could we make it four here? Nildo still going. Still running, Nildo. Go, Nildo, my boy. Goes for goal. Kanenko saves. Would have been a great fourth. And that should be all she wrote, referee. Goes long, referee. Neri thumps it into the stands. No nonsense from Neri. Which is, we don't mind that. Neri just seems to be so good at what he does. I think for two, it's just going to have to be content with a backup role. Neri's form has been that good in the ball-winning midfielder role. Velez, boom, full-time, 3-0. What a performance. Very happy with that. And Ronald, man of the match. You love to see it as well. And yeah, very, very happy with that. No one really played out, really played poor. They say some are even Smith played poor, but I thought they kept the ball well. So yeah, in the end, we're on 12 points. No one can catch us now. Um, you know, the most they can get to is 10. So we are mathematically safe. Um, which is good. We qualify for the first knockout round in Group G. And as you can see, it's got Q1 next to our name. And that is a great place to be. So what we're going to do here, YouTube, is that we're going to end this part of the episode here. But knowing we've finished top of the group, we will be back after the last two group stage games. I'll recap them quickly. And you will see the knockout round draw. First seed going into the first knockout round draw. We've got some horrid ones of previous years. We've picked up Barcelona and Madrid and all sorts of teams in this but hopefully, if we get the right draw and it opens up for us, we might get a good draw and go on a little bit of a run here in the Champions League. Welcome back, YouTube, to the final part of episode 152. We did indeed top our group, as you guys know. Um, we did, however, not win every game in the group. We did win all five and then lost inexplicably 1-0 in the Netherlands to PSV. That actually meant PSV jumped Leipzig on the final day because Leipzig did lose to PSV. Um, and then beat um, CSK, but PSV had to win to get out the group. We have Leipzig winning on the final day, so that is a massive, um, that is a massive, massive, massive result for PSV. So no shame in that. Um, we did play um, CSK Moscow fully rotating. Um, by the way, Jacob isn't the youngest Champions League goal scorer ever, um, but is very close at 16 years of age, which is really nice as well. Um, but yeah, in the end, we played very well. Very rotated side out here in this game. Lars of a ball, found the ball. It was blocked fell to Sommariva, who's in some sort of form. You want to speak about form players at the moment, Neri has been unreal. Um, and then our second goal, Lars out to Jefferson. Jefferson with a ball inside to Jacob. He side foots it in at 16 years of age, showing composure of a guy that's 30. And we win 2-0 there. We then inexplicably lost. You can see the team we played, uh, absolutely rotated side. Um, and then we inexplicably lost to PSV with the full strength side. I went out there with the intention of winning six from six. I've never done that in the Champions League. Um, had 12 shots, three on target. Apparently, we don't know how to score. Um, and they made it 1-0, and yeah. Um, I think losing our captain and Sander Bloom early. Um, had, you know, send, losing Sander Bloom early uh, just uh, cost us. In the end, uh, this is the goal we conceded. For, but look, uh, last time we did this in the group, we got 15 points in the group. The most points is 16. Um, we drew on the final day. I can't remember who to in the group. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, that was a lot of group stages ago now. Um, that year there, we got Real Madrid. What was that group like? Uh, if we feel to buy a champion, I, I want to know now. I want to know now what group we got 15 points in. It was a few seasons ago now. All I know is we got knocked out by Real Madrid. Straight off the bat. No, it was Dortmund we got knocked out by. Yeah, that's right. There we go. So Group G a few years ago. Been in Group G a couple of times, it looks of things. There we are, yeah. Group G, no, we won all six and six. I never knew we did that. Okay, there you go. Yeah, we won all six, and guess what we got? We got Dortmund, and they knocked us out. Anyway, we have got the group draw, um, the knockout stage draw, sorry. Um, and we are going to view the draw for this season. And there we are. All right, so as you can see, the teams that did finish top in their group, Barcelona, Bayern, Liverpool, United, PSG, Madrid, ourselves, and Benfica. That kind of tells me, like, unlike last year, we actually had Liverpool knocked out. PSG didn't make it out the group either. I believe Bayern Munich were a second seed with me. Um, and uh, Bayern Munich, so Barcelona were a second seed with me. Bayern Munich um, were also a second seed, I believe, as well. 
Uh, it was not a bad year last year. We had all these weird teams. Now, in terms of the teams there that we don't want to get, straight off the bat, it would be typical of us to have such a good year in the uh, Champions League so far and draw Manchester City. We actually have a good record against Manchester City. I don't know why. But uh, we always seem to win away at the Ify Head and we always seem to perform at home. We never always win. We always draw or lose, but always at, in England, we have a 100% record against City. I don't know why. In the end, though, I don't want them. Um, Arsenal, we've actually played in this round to make our first ever quarter final and beat them, and they were champions that year. I preferably don't want Arsenal. Last year, we got Juve. The year before, we got Juve in our Europa League winning run. Um, so I don't mind Juve. I would add them in. But in order, you want Kranzdor, you want Salzburg, you then probably want Napoli, Sevilla have knocked us out before, can't get PSV, then Juve, Arsenal, City. Um, there's three teams you don't particularly want, which is obviously City, Arsenal, and Juve. I would still probably say against Juve were favourites, and I would say against Arsenal would be a hell of a tie. But we want Kranzdor. <laughs> Who are we going to get, boys? Give me a prediction in the chat, as we are still live here at 9.30 at night. We're about to get off uh, to watch the Formula 1, 9.15. 9.30, I wouldn't be on. The F1's being on. We want to be drawn away from home first, because it obviously allows us to know if we've got the away goal or not. I reckon I'm going to put my neck out. I'm actually going to say we're going to get Manchester City because it would be such a typical thing for us to do. First at the hat is PSV. We can't get him, and Liverpool go. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Second out the hat, Cransdor. We need SFB. PSG. Ouch. All right. Um, makes it a lot harder. Arsenal get Barca. Big tie. Man City. This would be typical us. Benfica. Thank God. All right. We are guaranteed Sevilla, Napoli, Salzburg, Juve, all winnable ties. Napoli get Bayern. We are guaranteed Juve again, Salzburg or Sevilla. It's not bad. Salzburg get Real Madrid. It's Sevilla or Juve. Sevilla get SFB. So the team that knocked us out in the quarterfinal a few years ago, in our first ever quarterfinal, Campos obviously missed a massive one-on-one -on -one in the 90th minute in Spain to make it one all that night. And we were one new up in the 90th minute and Campos and yet again missed the one-on-one -on -one to send us through. We get Sevilla. Look, it's going to be an interesting tie, but uh, a tie that we probably should be favourites for. How did Sevilla go in their group? Um, we'll find out now as well. They obviously finished second, but they have. we've only played them twice and we got done. So yeah, we, uh, we conceded an extra time and then the Italian centre mid, I can't remember his name, I've scored to give us hope, but that's it. Um, time for our revenge, 100% agree. Um, let's see, they were in Group A with Benfica, and they got out with Herve Berlin. Wow, that's massive. Herve Berlin, who obviously knocked us out, made the semi-final last year. If they beat Herve Berlin, gee, they must be really good if they beat Herve Berlin. Our oh, junior's a good player, I know that. Very good keeper. He's listed, actually, at the moment for 30 to 61 million. Please leave. Please go, so I don't have to play you. Wow, the fact that Herve Berlin towed us up in Germany last year makes me believe Sevilla are going to be quite a team to play. Anyway, that's going to be next episode, guys. Sevilla is going to be a very interesting tie. As you can see, we are through the group, we topped the group, and we've got Sevilla for revenge from about what, four or five years ago where we got knocked out in the quarterfinal for our first ever time. We've never made it to the semi-final. This year, maybe could be the year. Who knows? Last year, it should have been. We've got to knock out one of our old foes to do it. And hopefully we will and find ourselves in the quarterfinal draw yet again. We'll find out next episode. I'll see you then. Thank you and goodbye.